to shop or to e-shop. Modern life has become connected to the internet. Some people may state that the internet has become part of their daily life. Life has become extremely easy, where almost all activities are possible are done online. For example, research, bill payments, flight ticket booking and online shopping. This documentary is about online shopping and how it is becoming a big part of our lives. Some people think online shopping makes life easier, while others argue it is not safe and are worried about the risk of online fraud. In this documentary, we will interview both internet users and internet experts and discuss some statistics and information regarding online shopping. Do you shop online? Yes. Yes. No, no. I do sometimes, yes. Yes, I did. Yes. yes. Currently, no. Sometimes, yes. But not often. Uh, yes, sometimes. Yes. Yes, I do. No. No. Yes. Have you ever purchased something online? Yes, but not personally. I would ask a friend or a family member to get me something online, like a book or a project, but never clothes. Yes, I have mostly video games, special editions and all that, you know. And uh, sometimes I like to purchase clothes. Yes, I have. Uh, I usually buy uh, hoodies and uh, electronics, more, more of uh, PC components. Research has shown that Amazon is the top online shopping website. Its profit has been increasing dramatically throughout the years. Have you faced any difficulties during the shopping process? No, not that I recall. Um, currently, I don't really face a lot of uh, problems when I order online, but uh, I used to be afraid to order from any website, so I only followed trusted websites. But now I see that uh, in today's uh, world, uh, more and more websites are trusted. Have you been in an online fraud? It happened to my aunt. Uh, she made a purchase online and the site contacted her and told her that uh, her purchase will be delayed. And this happened for a couple of times. Uh, but afterwards she started to realize that maybe they lied and took her money. But she kind of was able to handle it well. It happened to me once. Uh... Last year, actually, I ordered a, a piece for my computer from eBay. I told my friend to get it. He paid the money I gave him, but uh, the guy who promised us the product uh, all of a sudden cancelled his account and vanished. Not really, no. Do you think there are enough regulations to protect the customer from online fraud? I think there is enough regulations, but uh, the customer has the responsibility of knowing how to read and how to know exactly what's being told in the site and what's being mentioned so they know what to get. So the quality is also mentioned there, but you have to be really careful not to be tricked by the images the website has. I think so, but I think the customer always has to be aware of uh, where they're shopping from, um, who has access to their credit card number as well. So um, I think it's just as much from the customer's side as it is actually from the organisations. The users have to be educated. Because oftentimes, um, you know, there's plenty of warnings out there for them, you know, do not put your credit card details onto certain web pages that aren't secure, let's say. But oftentimes, users will get sent emails and often try and trick them. It's called phishing. So they will try and trick them into putting their passwords, putting their email account details, or putting their credit card details into a form. And when they click on that, um, the malicious users, maybe somewhere in Nigeria or could be somewhere in Russia, will gain access to their credit card details. In your opinion, what would make online shopping safer? I would say to provide uh, more awareness for the people and users. Um, online shopping is not completely unsafe. It is safe, but uh, there are certain uh, things that should be considered when shopping. Uh, like, for example, uh, don't put your credit information uh, in a web page that says just put the credit, your credit information. Check if, it's, if it is secure or not. They could add an insurance policy. If something goes wrong, maybe the company would return um, and under <laughs> different terms and conditions. 
like with any shop that has to be set in in the real world, not online, there has to be like not committee. What's the word I'm looking for? Like they get uh, certified that this uh, online shop is uh, trusted and it's official. It's not uh, some guy in his basement. Do you prefer online shopping or actual shopping? I think without for almost everything, online shopping for me. Uh, depends on the mood. Uh, like, it's either if you're too lazy or if the product that you want isn't being sold in your country, then you have to go online. But if it's uh, like if it's in your country, then you can go shopping, and it doesn't hurt to go out once in a while. According to the Telegraph website, fraud rose by 60% between 2008 and 2013. More than 55,000 of these cases were online purchase frauds. Are there many online frauds in Bahrain? I don't have the exact statistics, but I would say yes. My friend had his credit card details taken from a um, car rental company. But with regards to people who purchase maybe on uh, Amazon or people who purchase on uh, eBay, I don't know that many uh, occurrences here. I do though teach on a, an ethical hacking course here and I know that the Middle East is very vulnerable to, um, to hacks from other places in the world. It's the most vulnerable region in the world for online attacks. Do you have any tips to avoid online fraud? Phone hacking is much easier than a laptop hacking and at the same time if you download any application to any phone it usually says like this application needs an access to your phone book, to your whatever pictures and so on. So imagine you saved your visa number in the phone book just because you want to copy and paste it while you are shopping online. So what will happen if some if any program had the access to take that number? Number one will be have antivirus software installed on your machine. Number two, don't click on any suspicious links from people who send you emails, you know. You know they might promise you a, a hundred million dinars and lodge into your bank account, but you know, I, you know, I wouldn't really believe that. And the last thing would be when you're using torrent websites, that you, you know, be very careful with what, with software that you install on your machine that you download from these torrent websites. Tips for safe online shopping. Number one, keep it private. Avoid using public Wi-Fi or public computers when shopping online. Number two, keep your computer or mobile device up to date. Updating your browser will help to ensure that you're getting the most up-to-date security protection. Number three, use a payment method with buyer protection such as PayPal, Google Wallet and Skrill. Number four, use familiar websites such as Amazon and eBay or research your retailer. Number five, give out as little information as possible. Number six, install malware protection software. And finally, number seven, never ever give out your credit card number over an email. As a result, it was found that there were two sides to this argument. However, the majority of research and interviews are in favour of online shopping. It also demonstrates that if the right instructions are followed, e-shopping can be completely safe. <laughs>